Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a video that I have thought in a long time I wanted to do and then I saw Becky Loves Kanga do it and then I was just like, I have to do it. This is so great. Um, so I was very excited to see her video and I really really enjoyed it. So I thought I would share my version as well. This is a video I'm going to call Brands I Only Have One Of. It is just certain makeup products I have pulled out of my collection that I only have one of from that brand. I hope that makes sense. So I have gathered them all in my makeup bag here so I'm just going to pull out of it. The first product I have is my Shan XO collab with BH Cosmetics. So I only have one product from BH Cosmetics so that is the theme throughout this video. Um, I hope it makes sense at least. Earlier last year, like in the second half I think, she came out with a remix palette of this one, so it doesn't have the um, lipsticks on the other half, but new shadows. So yeah, I really really enjoyed this palette, but BH Cosmetics is not that easy to get hold of in Denmark, so that is also why. But I have a lot of products I really want to try from that brand, but from now on I only have one. Sleek is a makeup brand I only have one of. I, I, mean, I can't buy it in stores in Denmark, but I have this highlighting palette that was very hyped last year or the year before. The year before, I think it's 2016 it was hyped. It is the highlighting palette in Saltish. I love this palette, it is so so great. No one talks about it anymore, but it is amazing if you haven't tried it. If you like a blinding highlight, this is for you. It has three powders and one cream. So this one down here is the cream. This may be a shock for some of you guys. I only have one product from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I have, I have been so tempted to buy other products from Too Faced, but I have never gotten around to it because I just think every single time I go to the counter, it's just too expensive. <laughs> It's so expensive for what it is, so yeah, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar if you haven't seen it. May it might be a spoiler for Panda Palette, I'm not really sure yet, but yeah, this is what it looks like in my palette at least. I have some pans, I really enjoy it. It is my Panda Palette for this year. I have one from Soap and Glory, it is the Super Cat Eyeliner, this one. I don't know if I like this one because it's smudged a lot. So Eva is a product I don't really have one makeup product of. I do have I do have some of her brushes brushes, but I only have this eye primer from the makeup range. And I love this eye primer. If you haven't tried it, you must. It is so great. It is a matte primer, but it has some coverage to it as well, so your veins will be covered. I don't know if this count. And the Body Shop Honey Bronzer is the only makeup product I have from the Body Shop. I have some body lotions from them, but the Honey Bronzer is the only makeup product. So This is so great for fair skin as well, because this is the number 01 and it has like 3 or 4 shades as well. But this is so amazing for fair skin. I have, yeah, I have this Duo Eyelash Adhesive. For my um, false eyelashes, I don't know if this is a makeup product, but it is an eyelash glue, so I don't have this one. I have this lip, lip and cheek stain from Imitate Makeup. Yeah, it is a red tinted thingy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really care about that product. I have one product from Estee Lauder. It is a lipstick that I got from one of my cousins. She bought it for me. It is in... Pink berry pure color or pink berry, I don't know. It is a very, very nice nude color. I love it so much and I really don't want to use it, but I need to at some point. I have one product from Makeup Revolution. It is this one. It is a highlighting palette. It is called Ultra Pro Glow Palette. It is rubbed off, but I had pen on like three shades last year, so I really, really enjoy this one actually. Some doesn't like it because it brings out the texture of your skin, but I don't really find it does. And then I have one nail polish from Nails Ink. Um, yeah, 
I really will enjoy this shade. So if you haven't seen my nail polish collection, I will link it up here to see the rest of my nail polishes. I forgot to mention my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair. This is absolutely amazing and I wish I could get hold of it very, very easier than I can. It's just amazing and the coverage is awesome. Really, really awesome. And then I have the Nuori Lip Treatment. This is amazing lip balm as well. I'm trying to pan these this year so hopefully I can get them out of my collection because they are getting older but I love them so much. I will definitely try more from the collection brand and yeah I will definitely buy this again when it runs out and when I get to travel to England again. So if you're counting the, the Body Shop Honey Bronzer, you can count this as well. This is the Nux Lip Balm. I do have some body oils in this from this brand, but this is the only makeup type of product. This is amazing for your lips and I will really enjoy using it this year. So yeah, I guess that is my last product for now. <laughs> so that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really sorry if I pushed through it. Um, I just really wanted to do it under like 10 minutes or so and um, I hope I did um, if you have any questions for these products leave them down below in the comments I would love to chat with you guys about them because I actually love them all the only thing I'm meh is about is the slip and cheek stain I don't really use those kind of thing um, things but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other videos I have on my channel. I have a lot of planning videos, tag videos, get ready with me, stuff like that. I have a lot. And if you have any video requests from me or wishes for videos, please leave them down below as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!